Pastors here, or if there are pastors, must come here in front here. Here, here, they must make a line here. Yes, I just want to pray for you. I want to minister to you. Something is about to happen into your life. Where water, the where water. Oh, you'll be free. Amen. You'll be free. Amen. Can you just come here? Because I saw you in so way too. What were you doing? The minister was there, Daddy. The minister was there? Yes. yes. Don't worry. Because sometimes you're confused. Yeah. Eh? Yes, Daddy. Sometimes you feel like if you stay there, it will work for you. Huh? You've already instructed me for Jamie I instructed Steen. you. For Jamie Steen. I said go to Jamie Steen. Yes, sir. But there's something that of staying there. Yes. Huh? Yes. I'm just putting fire in your ears. 
because you were hearing things that this thing must, I mean, in Jesus' name. Look here, there's a demon where you sleep, you hear me? Yes. That comes to you in the night. And this demon press you. Huh? Yeah, yesterday before, before yesterday, I saw a blanket. The demon, this thing must leave you. The demon, you are beginning to have a problem with your feet. Amen. Eh? Amen. Uh, you are beginning to have pains here. Amen. So this thing must leave you in the name of Jesus. What you have been crying for? Because you are, you are crying to hear from God. Yes, David. And when you come here all the time, God will speak with me. Yes, so let it happen to you now. Let it happen to you as I touch you here in Jesus' name. You people must not fight. Yeah? Amen. But there's a spirit that devil want to use it to fight. Eh? Amen. You know what I'm talking about? You Amen. Won't, you, you won't agree. This one will agree. <laughs> Amen. It's not true. It's true. Um, like I'll just like yesterday. I told her that uh, we're supposed to go online service. And then when I was praying, I came, then I found that she was not like connecting. I said, hey, me now I'm going to go it's that like side. She yeah. does not believe. Yeah, it was like we were not connecting together. So I said, no, there was something that was wanted us to fight. So I said, mm -mm, let me just go that side. So you must not disagree. Mm -hmm. Amen. You understand? Mm -hmm. Allow this man to do what he's supposed to do. You hear that? Amen. You will eat the fruits of it soon. Amen. Right now you don't understand. <laughs> you don't understand. Because you are seeing that on the ground there is nothing. You are free. You must pray concerning the spirit of your fathers yes. that makes people to fail to marry. Yeah. Eh? Yes. You must pray concerning this thing. Yes, Dad. Because it's bothering you. You're free. Uh, greetings, greetings, everybody. My name is Apostle T.P. Murovesi. I came here to Charis today, and I received the prophetic word. A man of God said to me, I must pray against the spirit of uh, polygamy or for people not to get married in our family. I am here to confirm that the prophecy is true because all my brothers have been married. Those who married, their marriage relationships are in mess. So I'm here because I received the prophecy and I'm happy today that I'm free because of coming here. I received the prophetic word and I've been prayed for and I'm free and I, I thank God for that. I'm not seeing the church here. Yes, I'm, I'm an evangelist. Yeah? I'm an evangelist. Yes, so I'm not seeing the church. Yes. So don't be tempted to make a church. Okay. You understand? Yes. There's no church in your life. Yeah. All right. We need people like you. Yes. You understand? Yes. We'll go out and win other people for God. Okay. You understand? Yes. God bless it. It's a dream this man has dreamed. Did he tell you the dream? My husband. Where is, where is the husband? Is this one? My husband is oh, okay. this one. Okay, there's a dream. I'm hearing the dream. There's a dream you have dreamed. Did you tell the dream to this woman? Uh, I'm not sure which one, but there's so many dreams I've, I always tell him. But the one I've told him in the morning, they said there was someone who gave me food, and that food was having some snail. It's a poison. I also told him in the morning. Huh? I told him. He told me. Because I'm hearing the husband of this one want to be given poison. So this poison issue you will know. Don't eat anybody's food. Amen. Because of the impact you are doing now. People are beginning to see you. That you are rising up. Amen. You understand? So these pastors here, you don't need them. Amen. If not, you'll be poisoned. You understand? I told him in the morning. You told what? I told my wife the same the same prophet that had given me that. I told him that you be food.
lift him up. God loves you, but you must fight a spirit of lust. Yes. You understand? Yes. Okay, because it's troubling your mind. Yes. But it's the spirit of your father that comes to you. Yes. You understand? Yes. Are you going to fight it? I've been fighting, sir. You've been fighting it? Yes. Because God wants to use you. But this spirit is from the enemy. Shalom, shalom. My name is Michael Corsa, Reverend Michael Corsa. It is true what the man of God was saying uh, regarding a uh, spirit of lust. Uh, it has been coming to me through people that I work with. They've been very, being say very suggestive. And the man of God has prayed for me, and I believe that I'm delivered and I'm free. Thank you, Jesus. I will say keep on praying for the spirit of lust to leave you. And if you, there's a church close to you, and there's a man of God that is truly sent from God, join that church and pray with him. You shall be delivered and you shall be set free. Amen. Can you just come in? Don't worry that this thing comes and go. Comes and go. Yeah, it's true. It's true. Because you are very worried now. Yeah, it's true. These enemies that are laughing at you, you will laugh at them soon. You hear me? Huh? Mm. Because your wife, she knows there are people who are laughing at her. Yes, sir. Eh? Yes, sir. And you've been talking about it. Yes, sir. These people are laughing at her soon. Yes, sir. When God starts to visit you. Yes, sir. There's a vision that I saw that God wants to lift you up. You must pray that you must not have high blood. Thank you, Jesus. You hear me? Of late, that's the thing that's bothering me big time. I can hear? Of late, yes. more especially these days, that's the thing that is bothering me big time. Concerning My, high blood. Because of stuff, Your challenges. Heart yeah, to beat you very first. true. Eh? It's paining me big Don't time. Don't worry. I will pray for you. Hey, hey, hey. Okay, my name is Apostle Andy Klope. I receive a prophecy concerning my, my heart. The prophet said, be careful of high blood pressure. I said, yes, I agree, because in, of late, I've been feeling pain directly in my heart, sharp pain, because of some challenges sometimes we are facing in the ministry pain that we encounter in our lifetime. Of late, I've just experienced pain, severe pain in my heart because of some challenges. Uh, yes, it was. I, I usually feel pain. I used to tell my wife, there is pain in my heart, sharp, sharp, sharp pain. But I bless the Lord for this prophecy, for I know once it is revealed, it is already done out in Jesus' name. Come here, come here, come here. Come. Let's pray for your children. Amen. They are bothering you. Amen. Huh? It's true, man of God. You are bothered. Yes. You are questioning. Very true. You understand? It's like they are being told things. Amen. That you are suspecting. Yes, it you is understand? true, man of God. Jesus, like come on. Yeah. Look here. Don't entertain these dreams that you see yourself flying yes. above many people. Yes. Yeah? Yes. You see yourself mm -hmm. doing hey, like sometimes walking on air. Flying. Yes. yes. Like like that. You understand? Yes. Don't entertain things like that. All right, sir. Thank uh, you. Because 
you'll end up feeling like maybe it's a spirit. Yeah. Okay. Understand? When you start to see something, wake up, begin to stop this, uh, this kind of visions. You understand? Amen. There are people here, but you see yourself you know, flying on top of them. Yes, yes. I want God to give you the right vision in Jesus' name. Let it happen to you. Let me touch you here. In Jesus' name. Uh, my name is uh, Temba Stole. I come from Soweto. Uh, the, the prophecy which the man of God gave is true and 100%. I've been seeing myself sometimes walking on air, sometimes flying. So I didn't understand them. I was confused. I just told myself, maybe it's just a dream. But when I see them repeating, that's why I started to worry. So I really thank God that today it was cleared. I'm no longer confused. And I want to appreciate God for that. God loves to come. You need to forgive, eh? You hear me? Yes. God will help you. You need to forgive. Yes, Apostle. You've been hurt. Yes, yes. And this makes you not to trust anyone now. Yes, that's true. Eh? That's true. God loves you. You just forgive, okay? So that God will also forgive you. Amen. Thank you, you so much. Bring him here. Now, brother, there are many people who are attacking you. Yes. You understand? Yes. Eh? Yes. Yes. Because I'm not seeing anything here of the ministry here. Yes. Everything is fully. So God loves you. As I pray for you today, Thank God will give you favor. Yes. In Jesus' name. Receive that favor in Jesus' name. You are blessed.